finally stopped raining. I think it was three days straight of rain and it's now stopped, which is awesome. Hello, studio. Today is a busy one. We have to make sugar scrubs. We have to label my lotions that I made the other day. And I have to fulfill those orders that I am a few days late on. And I'm gonna do that all today. So I'm just gonna get right into it. First, I'm going to unbox some supplies that I got from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I got some more marshmallow root powder. I like to include this in my scrubs, which I'm making today. And I got some more liquid Dermal Plus, this size of a bottle, but I definitely need to start buying bigger, like more. <laughs> Giant store just flew by. This'll do for now, but I'm currently sourcing a supplier for this in the right price range. <laughs> and I save all of this for my own shipping. You have no idea how long I've lasted using shipping materials from packages that I got. And I like to save these size boxes too because they are the perfect size for large orders. All right, let's get to my sugar scrub and this includes some cocoa butter, some hemp seed oil, some stearic acid and all of this just adds a nice luxurious feel to my sugar scrubs but it also gives it just a little bit of body. We got a package. I have really fantastic neighbors. This package was delivered to the wrong address. They tried calling me but I was really busy making lotions yesterday so I didn't pick up their call. And so they, they wrote me a note and dropped it off in front of my house. I'm really, really grateful to them for doing that. <laughs> but this is a package that I've been really, really excited about. This is by Teddy Blake. Over a year ago, Teddy Blake reached out to me asking me if I wanted to try their handbags. And I said yes. And I featured that bag i think in a vlogmas two years ago i might have i was in the midland house but they reached out again wanting to set another bag which is perfect timing because the current bag that i'm using is falling apart after a long 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 time of using it i like to use my stuff until they're practically falling apart before i replace them so this was actually perfect timing their handbags come in a beautiful box which if you're thinking of gifting one of these bags to a loved one this box makes it perfect to do that <laughs> these bags are made in italy and they are leather and it comes in a nice cloth dust bag the handbag that i got from teddy blake last time was really big and i use it for travel because it's really sturdy and i can fit a lot of things in there but what i needed was a smaller everyday handbag so when I saw this on their website, I thought this was perfect. And there it is. The handbag that I have been using is black and that goes with everything. So I wanted another neutral color. And this brown is a shade of handbag that I've always wanted because this also goes with everything. I love that you can carry it by the handle like this, but you can also use it as an over the shoulder bag. It comes with a very long strap. Looks like there's a lock and a key turn it into an over-the-shoulder tote. You just clip it through the top, just put it over the shoulder like that, and you have a perfect everyday handbag that you can take around with you that's no fuss, that goes with any outfit. And you can also carry by the handle. I love that you can adjust the length of the strap. That was my thing about my other handbag that I've had for years was that I always felt that it was so long. Here, let me show you. This bag was so long, I would put it over here and it would just hang just like right there. And that is, that's way too long. Preferably I'd want the bag to sit at my hip. This bag will allow me to do that, I think. Oh, perfect. Right at the hip and it looks so cute and so chic. This shade of brown is gorgeous and I love all of the pockets. There's a pocket back here. 
There is a compartment. There's two pockets on the inside and just a cavity. You throw in your wallet another handbag stuff. This is their Ava Gold handbag in the 11 inch size and it comes with this lock and tag. And I think this is how you just drape it over the handle. I don't know if it has an actual function, but I think it's cute. I really, really like this bag. Thank you for sending me this beautiful handbag, Teddy Blake. And if you're interested in purchasing a beautiful quality leather handbag, there is a link down below. So I have my labels printed here. And I get a lot of questions about them, but I actually do print them in-house, all of them, using a laser, an HP Laser Jet Pro. And the exact model of my printer, I don't think it's available anymore. I got this over six years ago, maybe six years ago. And I bought it from Costco, a beautifully labeled jar of cream. what these stickies are for. They indicate which jar should be the first one to be sold and these yellow ones at the end indicate a jar that's not fully filled up so I don't accidentally sell that to a customer because I definitely don't want that to happen. That would be horrible. I would feel so bad if that were to ever occur. And I realized that I didn't have a system in place that would actually prevent that. <laughs> because I got another question too about the way I pipe the lotion into the jars. Um, I didn't have the jars on a scale, but what you don't see, because it's so tedious and it's boring, is after I pipe all of the cream in, I tap it down to flatten it to make sure that the, all the pockets, all the air pockets are filled or as full as they could be, and then I top off each one because even though it looks like it's at the top um, in the footage, it's not. There's um, Once I tap it down and the cream fills all the extra space, it comes down quite a bit. I adjust and make sure all the cream is to the top and I also adjust to make sure all of the creams are the same weight. So these are all the little details that get lost in a social media post that is seven seconds long. <laughs> and I get that. It's hard to know the full story. Is the scrub I've split it into two or a little overexposed here let me fix that is that better yes it's still really bright hold on so here is the scrub and I split it into two now we're at the stage where we're adding the fragrance oil and the color so I'm making two kinds of scrubs I'm making high tide and twilight woods which these are two of my best-selling scents across the board when it comes to soaps when it came to um, the creams and the scrubs Oh, it smells so good. Oh, that in Cascadia too. I'm always scared to put too much. It smells amazing. I love this fragrance oil. We're gonna color this a beautiful blue color to match that ocean vibe we've got going on here. And then we're going to whip it up. Here's High Tide and now we're going to mix up Twilight Woods, which is a really beautiful lavender blend. I use, I use lavender essential oil and a blend of fragrance oils for the scent. So everything's mixed. Now I just have to pipe the sugar scrubs into the jars. Let's use a candle wax holder to really open up that piping bag. first scrubs were emulsified and they were so runny. I scooped them into the jars using a measuring cup. And I'm just so happy to see how my scrubs have evolved to be this texture because it's the texture that I always wanted, but I guess it took some time for me to figure it out. And now I, I love, love this texture. It's so fluffy and spreadable, which I think are really important characteristics of a good scrub. You don't want it falling all over your bathroom floor. I make my own foaming bath base, but if you don't want to make your own, you can just use the foaming bath base that's sold in most soap supplier websites. And it's pretty good stuff. I make my own because for me, it's much cheaper than buying those pails. And I like the consistency of the one that I make better than the ones you buy. I like the final texture of the scrub. It gives it a little bit more structure. So here is the scrub inside of my baggie. I'm gonna put this down.
here are the finished scrubs. I do go all the way to the top and make sure that they are all of the same weight. That was a question someone asked me when they saw me piping stuff into the jars. I do make sure that they are all the same weight. So all I'm gonna do now is cap them and then add the label and then we can fulfill those orders. Here are the packages that I needed to catch up on. I still have many packages, many orders still on the board, but I need to make a lot more stuff. <laughs> Look at all. Yeah, this is not gonna cut it. I need more sugar scrubs to fulfill all the other orders on the board, and I still have to shrink wrap these guys. Ugh. It's a lot of work, but I'm really grateful to have orders and I'm really, really thankful to the supporters and the people who watch my videos. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for accompanying me during this crazy hectic time and following me along on my journey. If you wanna order my products, there is a link to my shop in the description box below. But if you wanna make the products yourselves, you can do that. That is on my Patreon. All my recipes are on there and that is also linked down below. And speaking of my patrons, thank you to my Bubble BFFs, these guys over here or over there. I don't know where I'm gonna put the names, but you guys make a huge, huge difference. And I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. And I'm also grateful to the people who just watch, like, comment, the silent supporters out there. You guys are so appreciated as well. But be sure to catch the next episode tomorrow where I try to figure stuff out because even though I made sugar scrubs today, I just realized there's an order that ordered five of each of my scents and I don't have five of any of the scents. So I'm gonna have to devote a whole day to making sugar scrubs tomorrow. But that's the craziness of owning a small business during this time of year. And again, I am just so thankful. So until the next video, keep smiling and keep being awesome. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.